I'm gonna, I want you to feel my pain here. <laughs> I'm a jabroni. I look in the mirror, I see a jabroni. <laughs> at 59 years old, Randy died at 58 and a half. And then I thought about all the times that I didn't get my way. You know, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Except mine was macho, macho, macho. Mm. Funky like a monkey. Sky's the limit. This is the place. Dig it! Of all the imitations of Randy I've ever seen, that was by far the most recent. You've got felons in the Hall of Fame. Mm. You've got some sorry ass people in the Hall of Fame. You've got some Judy Garland, uh, Amy Winehouses in the Hall of Fame. Everybody seems to think Randy married his high school sweetheart. Well, that's a pretty good trick since she's from Tennessee and he's from Illinois. All right, we're here in uh, KC Shoot Cinema. We're gonna, we're gonna watch some footage and we'll uh, critique and see if we have any comments about some KC programs prior. Randy Savage bought her from an escort service in Lacey, Kentucky for fucking 80 bucks an hour. You never let her go. That is where Miss Elizabeth came from. He had surveillance. He had, he had, he had all that high tech. You know, he would look out and everything, and then gates and everything. He had it all. Was he paranoid? Well, was John F. Kennedy paranoid on November 22nd, 1963? Well, people assassinate presidents. I don't know who'd assassinate a famous wrestler. I'm just saying, sometimes there are plots against people. Was he paranoid? Yes. Randy Savage's bark was so much bigger than his bite. Ooh, yeah, you in the danger zone. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. That's all I got to say about that. Lanny, do you think the other wrestlers would sign my book? I said, what do you care? You're Marvin Hamlish. Right. And Adrian Adonis said, who is that fucking guy? Get him out of here. I got a line of blow on the table. Going Broadway is the appropriately titled uh, segment here. Lanny, we're going we're gonna to hear some show tunes come up. Hello, Dolly. Ah, uh, that's Barbara Streisand. I had a crush on my fifth grade teacher, uh, name withheld upon request, and... Uh, oh, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Batista, and I know everybody's curious, but if I were a betting man, I would put Wim Place's show on Robert Fuller. Sweeney Todd. It's about sour grapes. It's the little thing, uh, you know, I can't get the grapes, so they must be sour. Mm -hmm. I can't get the grapes, so it must be because I didn't have sex with Pat Patterson. I promise you. I remember you, that one from childhood. Everybody says Steve Lombardi and Pat were doing that. I don't believe it. I just don't. You know why? Because Steve Lombardi told me it wasn't true. And you know what? I believe him for two reasons. Number one, he's never lied to me. And number two, he is an ugly motherfucker. Brigadoon. Today in 1949, my parents made a vow, and I think it's amazing they're still together now. Mixed marriages by nature never seem to get on track. You know my mother's Jewish, you know my dad is black. But he passes for Italian, and we keep his secret well, so Angelo and Judy can spend 50 years in hell. Oh, I bleached my hair, I got in the sunbed, I worked out like a maniac. Steroids was illegal, but I took human growth hormone, HGH, and um, I'm not proud of it, but it's a shoot interview, and I feel like telling you the truth. What a, what a fantastic enhancement to my life she has been. How sweet is that? After you got famous, did you have a plower? WWE put a memo out, stop shitting in Jerry Lawler's crown. Well, imagine owning a business where you have to put out a memo, please stop shitting in someone's hat. That's the first time I've ever seen you rattled. I mean, we've talked about everything. Stephanie Bellers, I think, rattled you a little. Is this true? My feelings are hurt that she would have the temerity to bring that up. No, it's Argentino it, it, Rocca, Antonino Rocca. Yeah. Now, here's what happened. He changed the business with his dick. Hulk Hogan, he's a very tall man, about six foot seven. One punch from him could send you to heaven. Back then, mm -hmm. they wouldn't book a bodybuilder. They were considered vanity, homosexuality, strangeness auto fellatio whatever right okay right. It's, it's, and this it sounds like you read me your resume right now actually <laughs> but. A 400 mile trip rock his dick that's all you could talk about you know and i pretended not to be interested but i found i thought it was pretty fascinating right. because it was it must have been fantastic 